This plant is a gardenia. I bought it as a bonsai nursery stock for about 300 US dollar. This is what the tree looked like before it was styled. After pruning, wiring and repotting, this was the result. Because there's already a nicely developed nabari, so the, the roots, the surface roots. And as you can see, the trunk also has a nice shape and, and, and movement in it. So this is definitely a plant that is uh, something uh, that could be a very interesting bonsai. What the tree needs now is uh, uh, pruning. As you can see, the shoots have extended very long. So I've studied the tree and uh, there's one branch over here, as you can see, which is straight and there's two branches emerging from the same spot. So that's one I will take away. And after that, I will shorten the length of the big branches and then start making decisions on which branches to keep and which branches to prune. We start with reducing the size of the branches by pruning back to two or three leaves. Any dead branches, dangling growth or dead foliage is carefully removed using scissors. This basic cleaning will reveal the structure of the plant, a factor which is important when deciding on the front. Also remove any dead branches on the interior of the tree. All right, that cleaned up the tree a lot. As you can see now, well, you can see now what I was just telling you about before, the trunk line, the nice nabari, uh, and already quite a few branches that are well developed. The next step is to start selecting the branches to keep and the ones to, to prune away. So one example, let's see, is um, mm, this one here. So as you can see, this one is growing Upwards, it's quite straight and thick, so that's, that's an obvious uh, branch to, uh, to remove. There are some new shoots underneath, so I'll keep those, but the branch will uh, come off. So here's a rather thick one growing upwards, which just looks kind of strange, so I'll uh, remove that. Maybe keep this one, this will go. The next step is pruning. This is a creative process, not bound by strict rules. But the following guidelines will help you get started. Ideally, we want our first branches positioned at about one third the height of the trunk. Prune branches positioned lower on the trunk. We also remove branches that cross the trunk line, especially those blocking our view on the front of the tree. We also prune heavy upward growth. Finally, we remove dangling growth to prepare for wiring. Deciding on the design of a bonsai isn't always easy, especially when a tree is as full and overgrown as this plant. Try to apply the pruning guidelines we just mentioned to your own trees. And if you are interested to learn more about these techniques, consider enrolling in one of our online bonsai courses. Here, expert teachers explain the relevant techniques and you can ask them questions. For a free lesson, go to bonsaiempire.com slash courses. The front is the most open part of the tree as you want to be able to see the trunk. You can safely prune up to one third of your tree's foliage. At this point we have finished pruning the tree and work starts on wiring the branches. 
starting with the lower branches and slowly working our way up to the apex. Try to wire two branches with one piece of wire. Between these two branches make sure to wrap the wire at least once around the trunk for stability. We aim to apply the wire at an angle of 45 degrees. The wire should be thick enough to hold the branch in the desired shape once we bend it. A rule of thumb is to use a wire of about one third to half the thickness of the branch you are wiring. Once you finish wiring the branches, you can start shaping them, moving your way up the trunk towards the apex of the tree. All right, finished wiring the entire tree, detail wiring every, every single branch. Uh, and as you can see, we did a lot of pruning and also setting the branches really changes the, the appearance of the tree. So right now there's a really nice trunk line that goes all the way up to the apex. Uh, there's a nice uh, tapering as well. The nebari also looks quite good. So this, this tree really has the potential to become a nice little uh, bonsai tree. And a really nice thing about uh, gardenia bonsai is that they flower um, and the flowers they, they smell very nice. So the flowering happens uh, in, uh, in summer. If you want the tree to flower, make sure that you don't prune it. But for now, flowering is not my uh, priority. So uh, my plan is uh, to keep it safe uh, during the winter, make sure that there's no, uh, no frost. And then in uh, spring, the tree will start growing again very uh, strongly because we, we pruned a lot of the branches. Uh, once those branches have uh, elongated for a few inches, so let's say late spring, I will start pruning back again uh, to, to further compact the tree. And the more regular pruning that I'll do, uh, the more smaller branches will start growing on the, on the interior of the tree. And that, that will be nice because it will be nice to, to even compact the tree a little bit more. But for now, a really nice result. Yeah. Exactly one year after the styling, we can see a really healthy tree. None of the branches died off and some, some longer extensions again. So today's just a bit of maintenance. What I'm doing is just pruning back these kind of long shoots to the first set of butts. I'll do that throughout the tree. I'd also like to put it in a nice bonsai container. So likely I'll do that in the, in the next spring. So also not right now, it's not a good time to do that. So for now, just, just the pruning. I don't care much about flowering, so I don't, I don't mind uh, pruning right now. So if you do care about flowers, uh, you want to do this kind of pruning right after the moment it flowers. And if you care about fruits, then you have to wait until the fruits are, are there and then do the, the, the pruning. So it's a little bit up to you. But for now, I only care about the development, the structural development of this tree. So uh, it's a good time to do this kind of uh, pruning now. All right, we styled this tree about a year and a half ago, and then half a year ago, we pruned it again and put some wire in these branches. So it's early spring uh, right now, so it's a good time to do the repotting, finally, to place it in a nice bonsai container. And the pot that I have in mind is this one. It's a handmade pot and a little bit on the large size for the, for the tree. Uh, but since the tree is still in development, I think this pot is a really good match. What I'll do next is I'll take the tree out of its pot comb out the roots, prune the roots a little bit, and then prepare this pot as well and place it in this pot. So 
as you can see, it's been a while since the, the tree was last repotted, so the, the root ball is very uh, compact. So don't be too nice on, on all those roots circling around the interior of the pot. Those roots will have to be pruned anyway, so I'm just hacking into it. And actually, I'll use a, a root rake as well. As you can see, a lot of a lot of roots. I think the tree hasn't been repotted for maybe three or four years, but it's in very good condition. But it was about time to uh, to place it in new soil. I think it's uh, placed in 100% Akadama now, and we'll use the the soil mix that we always recommend, which is a mix uh, of Akadama pumice and lava rock. All right, I think that's uh, how far I would like to go today. By taking away some of the soil, you can see a few roots that stick out. Uh, this one as well, so I'll actually remove those uh, which will improve the nabari or the, the surface roots of the tree. So there's a small root growing right here, so that will take over uh, the function of this root. So I'll make the cut right here. So the other root is this one. Uh, I'll remove that one completely, uh, also because there's uh, a few smaller roots uh, right underneath which look much better. So the Nambari uh, will also uh, look better by removing this one. So like I said, this is the pot I've selected for the, for the tree. It has one large hole which I will have to cover with a piece of mesh and a few smaller holes which I will use for the, the wires to attach the tree firmly to the pot. We add a layer of soil before placing the tree into the pot. Place the tree slightly off-center in the pot and make sure to plant it at the right angle. Using the two long wires, we firmly attach the tree to the pot. The soil mixture we use is a blend of Akadama, Lava Rock and Pumice. You can read more about bonsai soil on our website, bonsaiempire.com. Alright, we have finished styling this tree, pruned and wired it and just repotted it. The only thing we have to do now is uh, watering. Learn how to create your own bonsai trees by enrolling in one of our online bonsai courses. We explain techniques like pruning, wiring and repotting, and you can ask questions to the teachers. For the curriculums and free lessons, go to bonsaiempire.com courses.